Hi, I'm Brittany and welcome to my channel, The Book Dreamer. I'm new to booktube and excited for where this new adventure is going to take me. I decided to start, decided to start my channel off with 25 bookish facts about me. I am a mood reader. I try to set up books like that I want to read in a TBR, but when the time comes I'm most likely going to change those books because I'm no longer in the mood for them. My mood also determines if I'm more likely to want to read ebooks, physical books, or audiobooks for an undetermined period of time. Sometimes I'll stick to one format of book for days, weeks, or even months. I will reorganize my books every few months based on how I feel. They don't stay in the same position for very long. I don't have enough space on my bookshelves to hold all of my books. There just isn't enough space available for all the books I own. Speaking of the books I own, books that I finish get put into giant plastic totes to make more room for all the books that haven't made it up on the shelves yet. I am addicted to buying books, especially when there is a very good sale. Thrift stores are my favorite location to buy books. You can find so many books for amazingly cheap prices and even bag sales. I know the saying is never judge a book by its cover, but I do, all the time. If I haven't heard of the book I am, and I'm just browsing, I am more likely to pick up the book if the cover or the title interests me. I love deckled edges on books. They make the book different. Speaking of making the book different, I also love when books have different something different about their format. Like the Illuminae Chronicles by Amy, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff with using files and logs. The per Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and the Asylum series by Madeline Rowe with using pictures to help tell their story, or even The Dead House by Don Kurtigich, which was told through journal entries. I hate when my books get bent. If I buy them with some signs of wear, that's fine, but if I do the damage myself, I feel like I hurt a very good friend. Dog-earing book pages are not allowed. I would rather have to search for my page all over again than have to bend any of my pages. Again, it feels like I'm hurting a very good friend, especially if I'm doing it on purpose. If my bookmarks are too far away, I'll use anything else I can get my hands on to mark my spot. I do have a large bookmark collection, and I have all kinds of them. I always have a book with me. Usually I have at least one physical book on my body and have my Nook, Audible, and Kindle apps on my phone loaded with books ready to go for any time I have a chance to read. I spend more trying, time trying to pick out what book I want to read than I do getting ready for anything. As long as it piques my interest, I'm willing to read just about anything and give anything a chance. My top two favorite genre types are urban fantasy and paranormal romance. I prefer paperbacks because they are easier to fit in a purse or bag and don't weigh as much as a hardcover, and you can also fit more in your bag with them. I gained a love of reading from my parents. My earliest memories of reading are when my dad would set my brother and da my brother and I down before bedtime just to read a story. My favorite part of grade school and high school was when teachers would tell us that we had silent reading time, and I loved it even more when we were allowed to read whatever books we brought with us. 
I read on and off during elementary school and middle school. I remember being so excited when we were sent home with the Scholastic book ordering forms. I would circle all the books I would want and would beg my mom for as long as I could for her to order them for me. Through the Scholastic book ordering forms, I found Twilight before it even became popular. I read it when it first came out after my mom ordered it for me and I was up all night my 8th grade year just finishing that book. I can read up to 12 books at the same time, sometimes even more if all the plots are a little different. And lastly, like all good book lovers, my dream goal is to have a library like Beast showed Belle in his castle. Or at least have bookshelves that I can use rolling ladders with. That's all 25 bookish facts about me. I plan to have more videos come out real soon. Talk to me in the comments about any bookish facts about you. If you have any suggestions or any feedback for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.